So in this video, I'm showing you our surgical technique for correcting a disorder called plantar fasciitis. The primary deforming force in this disorder is that short tight Achilles tendon. So here you can see that we are simply measuring out where we are going to be lengthening the tendon at. It occurs approximately 15 centimeters from the attachment site of the Achilles tendon on the posterior aspect of the heel. You can see here we make a small incision along the medial aspect of the calf. And then with the use of a blunt instrument called a hemostat, we separate the deep tissue from the gastroc aponeurosis, ensuring to protect our neurovascular bundle. The tongue blade then is used to go from medial to lateral, ensuring that we have complete separation of the deep neurovascular bundle from the gastroc aponeurosis. This is our cannula. It gets placed into the incision line for our camera. Once the cannula is placed, we will place the camera in the cannula, ensuring that we are in the appropriate plane. You can see this white tissue on the screen. This is our gastroc aponeurosis. There is no neurovascular bundle identified, so we know that we are in the proper plane. The next step will be to add the blade to the camera. Once the blade is added to the camera, then we make sure that the, the blade and the camera are all in parallel fashioned and aligned. The blade is then going to be placed into the cannula. The blade will then be engaged and we will transect the gastroc aponeurosis. It's important to note at this time that while this is being performed, the foot is held in a dorsiflex position. That nice muscle belly that you see there ensures that we did in fact lengthen the tendon. We usually get around a centimeter and a half to two centimeters worth of length. You want to ensure that you've cut all fibers, so you do continue to examine and make sure that all fibers have been transected. Then we remove the camera from the cannula, we remove the cannula, and we just check one final time that all medial fibers did in fact get transected and then you flush the wound with saline and close. The next part of this procedure is addressing the chronic overused injury of the plantar fascia. This is performed with something called a topaz wand. So the first step is to make a grid with the marking pin along the plantar aspect of the heel. This can be anywhere from an eight by eight to a six by eight grid, encompassing at least the entire medial band or whatever portion of the plantar fascia that is painful to the patient. Once we have the points marked, we use an 18 gauge needle to simply puncture through the skin. This will be the entry point for the topaz wand that we will use to repair the plantar fascia. Essentially what we are doing with the topaz wand is we are taking this chronic inflamed plantar fasciitis and converting it over to an acute injury to allow the body to heal itself. When you create this acute injury, you are creating something called neovascularization. With that, you get new oxygen, new healing cells, and it really just allows the body to heal itself. We're almost completed with the grid here. Just a few more steps to take. In there. Now we will get the topaz wand. You do want to make sure you have a nice steady stream of saline coming out of the topaz wand. There is my ablate button. We will ablate the fascia as the wand enters the fascia and exits the fascia. Again, taking this chronic inflamed tissue and converting it to an acute injury, which allows the body to heal itself. Once this procedure is completed, you simply place a dry sterile dressing. Uh, I use Xeroform gauze, 4x4, and a gauze roll, and an ace bandage. 
And then we place the patient into the boot. It's critical that they remain in the boot for four to six weeks with the foot at 90 degrees to the leg to allow that tendon that we lengthen to heal in the appropriate position. After four to six weeks, they will come out of the boot and go into a good stable shoe. They'll remain in that good stable shoe for another four to six weeks. And some will even need to start physical therapy at this time for any weakness they may be experiencing or continued pain. Thank you for watching. If you believe you have a problem with plantar fasciitis or you have been unsuccessfully treating the problem for several weeks to several months, please come and see us. This procedure works fantastically. It's minimally invasive and most patients get back to their normal life quickly.